A study published by the American College of Emergency Physicians states, parents or other responsible adults should be aware of the risk of small children's fingers around doorways. Approximately 30,000 people with non-work-related finger amputations are treated annually in hospital emergency departments, also known as EDs. Most frequent products associated with amputations were doors of all kinds, 23.4%, of which most, 85%, were doors in houses or other buildings. This study shows that children younger than five years had the highest rate of finger amputations treated in hospital EDs. Almost three out of four of these amputations in young children resulted from their fingers getting caught, jammed, or crushed in a doorway during the opening or closing of a door. And a risk management alert published by an insurance company reveals these sobering statistics. A closing door can exert up to 40 tons per square inch of pressure along the gap between its hinges. The National Safety Council estimates that 300,000 injuries are caused by doors every year. Door injuries result in an estimated 15,000 amputations every year. Individual incident costs can be astronomical. Two cases where the finger actually was reattached had respective price tags of $725,000 and $600,000.